Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today, instead of showing you a new card that I'm creating, I'm going to do something a little different and show you how I make the envelopes for all of those cards that I create. I do mail most of those out. Starting off with some 65 pound card stock. Um, I like this better than using just plain paper because it is just a little bit thicker, which means that it's going to protect the cards a little bit better as they go out through the mail. This is a regular um, eight and a half by 11 sheet and then I'm going to use um, an envelope punch board now there are lots of different measurements for lots of different sizes of um, envelopes that you create can create the one I'm going to do is an A2 size so on here it says that you should use an eight and an eighth by an eight and an eighth inch piece of cardstock or paper. I tend to use eight and a half by eight and a half makes the card um, envelope just a little bit bigger and that helps the more dimensional um, cards fit just a little bit better when I mail them out. Since the cardstock I'm using is measuring eight and a half by 11, I'm gonna cut off about two and a half inches from one of the long ends. Now that is gonna leave me with a eight and a half by an eight and a half inch sheet to make my card with. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take that envelope punch board and just place that piece of cardstock in up against that rail. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one end go to three and three quarters. Then we punch and score. Now that little punch box up at the top, the little um, oval, that punches a perfect little, I guess a little notch out of the side of the card and then it has a score line that's lined perfectly up right there. So each time you do that, you are basically scoring each of your fold lines. That again. First you line up the card stock at three and three quarters, then you punch and then you score. Next, we're going to turn the cardstock and then line up that little piece that comes out from the punch with that score line that we've got there. It's in the correct spot with the notch. If the measurement comes to four and three quarters. Then when we turn it again, we go back to the three and three quarters, punch and score. And then we turn it one last time, and that's going to be at four and three quarters, lined up with the notch, punch and score. Now we've got all of that done, but I like to add that little detail of a rounded corner on each of those corners and the punch board comes with that. It's just on the opposite end of the regular punch. Now that we've got everything punched and scored, now we get to fold the envelope. You notice that all of the score lines are in, so I'm going to turn it upside down so that the score lines are on the outside. That's because we broke down some of the paper when we did those scores. It makes it so your card, um, your cardstock doesn't crack as easily. So I'm just folding and scoring on each of those score lines, and then I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive tape. Now you just put them on the shorter ends, the ones facing the same direction. So you see how I did that here. And I always burnish the adhesive tape before I remove that release paper. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick and then remove those two pieces of release paper that's on our adhesive tape. And then I'll fold that bottom flap down and just burnish that pretty well so it adheres well. And our envelope is pretty much done. Now it's ready to get um, addressed and then to put a card in. I'll go ahead and put one in for you to see how that fits perfectly. You would just put a little piece of adhesive tape um, on the closing flap and that would seal it up and then it would be all ready to mail. That finishes up this short video for today. I really hope that this helps you to be um, all prepared for sending out some of those holiday cards coming up. These envelopes, you can customize them in so many ways and it is super easy to do. Here are a couple of videos that I think you may be interested in. Thank you so much for dropping by and remember, if I can make it, you can too.